The hope for peace on Earth dwells within the human heart as we all face our monumental crossroads. Humanity's challenge, then, is whether we continue on the path we are currently on, or will we choose to work together, both East and West, in oneness, towards finding solutions that will save our precious planet Earth. The life of Sean Ray reflects the stories of all of us, as each individual belongs to history, and every life should see itself as part of every other life. This episode of People Helping People shows us that countries and regions no longer live in isolated societies, but function in a global arena. We interview people from all walks of life, from the common man, relief workers, to high governmental and non-governmental officials. We came away with the realization that in the hour of need, the response to one of the most destructive earthquakes in human memory was an unprecedented outpouring of support, both public and private, for its victims. It was as if one huge family had been struck, one large Earth family, who have collectively shown us by their actions that the real human journey of all of us on planet Earth is the journey of love, compassion, and understanding. You're also involved in humanitarianism. Could you tell us something about the work that you're doing? Well, you know, I, as someone who has been privileged, who has had more than his share of, uh, um, you know, love, affection, fame, uh, privileged life, I always felt that I had a responsibility to my society, hence my movement for justice, justice, social justice, economic justice, political justice, judicial justice. So um, yeah, that's my struggle right now. Let's take a look at some of your song selections. Uh, what was your reason for selecting the song after all? Well, when you, uh, well, that was, the, that was one of the only songs that was done by a male. Right. Uh, when, you, when you listen to the lyrics of the song, right. uh, it's, it's such a warm, endearing song. You know, it talks about love, and uh, it, it really, you know, it's a heartwarming song. Plus, I loved the chord changes, yeah. I love the melody, right. and I love the style of the music. Right. So, you know, then all I had to do was get, get, get you to sing it the way I wanted you. Yeah, that's true. After all, I will be the one to hold you in my arms. to hold you I will be the one to hold you in my arms in my arms और माशाल्लाह माशाल्लाह आप लोग देख सकते होंगे जब से ये बैठे हैं इनके चेहरे पे एक बहुत अच्छी सी स्माइल है जो एक पॉजिटिव वाइब जो है वो तमाम देखने वालों को दे रही है दुनिया में जो इराक की वॉर है और और अफगानिस्तान में तो लोग समझ रहे हैं कि जी क्लैश है इस्लाम में और or uh, Hello everybody, I'm Beth Troutman here with touring speaker, recording artist, designer and humanitarian Sean Ray to talk about his unique story that places him as an ambassador between the East and the West. His message is one of peace and harmony. Watch the balancing act to hear this fascinating story with a positive message for all cultures. Don't miss it. 
His motto is challenge yourself, and he certainly has lived a life based upon that simple idea. His global philosophy straddles both the East and the West, and his message is one of peace. This morning, the Balancing Act welcomes a very special guest, humanitarian, speaker, designer, and recording artist, Sean Ray. Good morning, Sean. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you for inviting me. Now, you definitely have a multinational background that I would say gives you an ethnicity that is pan-cultural, if you will. You probably agree. Um, tell me about your background, where you're from, and uh, what some of your influences are. Well, I was born and raised in the Indian subcontinent in the country of Pakistan, so I'm from the Muslim background. Uh -huh. um, my lineage, my heritage is uh, Chinese, uh, it's Jewish, it's uh, Muslim, of course, Christian, uh, Hindu, uh, Tibetan, Sikh, and uh, um, Buddhist. Wow, so quite an interesting. <laughs> yes, and as when I was a kid, uh, just to let you know, I got involved with all this stuff. Is is my uncle took me to a refugee camp when I was six years old, and to see how poor people or people that had nothing lived like. So I went to this refugee camp and saw old women, young children and old men that hadn't eaten for three days. Oh, wow. And uh, when I saw that, I just had a 10 course meal. Uh, it really affected my life. I, from at the age of six, turned into a, a man because I was, I wanted to do something to not see that ever again. And so I've spent most of my life trying to make sure that I work with people that want to alleviate homelessness, hunger, and disease uh, to, to make sure that we have a world that everybody has something. So it really changed your perspective. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. So that's why I'm a 24-7 kind of guy because I want to see that uh, happen. And so that's why I keep on working. So quite an interesting, <laughs> yes, quite an interesting background. Absolutely. Now you recently, and this I found this incredibly fascinating, you recently toured the Muslim world. I'm sure that was a pretty remarkable experience. Tell us about it. Yes. Well, in 2007, the King of Saudi Arabia, King Abdullah, and the Pope met. It was the first time a Muslim king went to the Vatican in 1,400 years, wow. and they discussed about how to find commonality between Christianity and Islam for world peace. And therefore, wow. I was asked to make the first uh, Christmas album, sing on a first Christmas album from the Muslim world in respect of Christianity. Wow, what an honor yeah, to be able to honor. do yes, that. And you also recently uh, went on the road for a speaking tour. You're a well-traveled <laughs> man. Thank you so much. Uh, well, the, the, the speaking tour had to do with the Christmas album and going into the, uh, speaking to the media in Europe, Middle East, and the Far East. Mm -hmm. And it was about speaking about the state of the World Union and about how to be able to have peoples and nations of the world have to work together in order to alleviate the problems that the world faces today. Sure. Who all are you um, able to reach when you're on these tours? Are you reaching the people you hope to reach? Are you reaching your benchmark? Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been very, very fortunate. Not only am I reaching people, but I'm also reaching the media. And the media is coming up to me and saying, Sean, you're a cross-cultural ambassador. You're from the East and West. Why don't you have some sort of a, a talk show, which is world-centric, talks about the problems that face the world, and uh, have all kinds of viewpoints, and, and of course, be a referee on that, not have your own spin on it. And uh, so that's been very, very exciting for me, and we're working on that. Now, you have been incredibly busy because you've been on the speaking tour, you've been on the road tour. Not only do you do all of that work to try to better this planet, you have done some other amazing things too. What we're going to do is we're going to have uh, 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 guests coming on speaking about issues that affect the world, the globe. Wow. Issues that are world issues HIV, AIDS, climate change, water shortage, Thank you so much for the welcome that has been given to me and, and the love that I've been shown and especially also from great hosts like Mishi Khan also. Thank you. Uh, I'm very, very proud to be here and uh, thank you so much for being so supportive and thank you for your friendship. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sean, and all the best to you for your future. I think he is a, a big advocate of interfaith harmony. So we have Sean Ray here with us. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. How, How are, you? are you? Very good. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Sean Ray, also known as Sean Shehriyar Khan Rai Zagajadun. When I was six years old, I witnessed the horror of starving women, children, and old men in a refugee camp, begging for food, very much like the images that we see today. This very sad episode and trauma of man's inhumanity to man 
had indelibly inked itself in my consciousness, so much so that I couldn't eat or sleep properly for months afterwards. Growing up, the vivid memory of this dreadful and disturbing event prompted me to always try to help the weak and the downtrodden and to work with others to alleviate homelessness, hunger, disease, and despair. It has always bothered me that even though we're all from one race, the human race, that why is it that we all can't just get along and work together as global citizens to solve the myriad of problems that face our one small world? I truly believe whether issues emanate from the far corners of Asia, the Middle East, or the Muslim world, it is important to give the viewing public multiple points of view rather than one singular point of view. It makes for a better informed public and a more global centric world. Oneness, the world's truly majestic perfume. Think noble, feel noble, be noble with oneness. How does your perfume make you feel? I will be the one to hold you. I will be the one to hold you in my arms. This is your Fox 5 News. Why are there problems when it comes together? Why can't they just work it out? Well, uh, essentially human beings are very tribal in nature. I mean, coming from the Indian subcontinent, there happen to be 533 officially recognized mm -hmm. tribes. Mm -hmm. And there happen to be over 22 languages in the Indian subcontinent and over 2,000 dialects. So people are very, very tribal and that culture has been around for over 5,000 years. Thank you. Thanks for being a cross-cultural ambassador Thank and, and so for sharing much. the message of peace. What, Thank what you a so much, Melissa. To... Thank you, Jody. Yeah, he's Thank in a really good position to do that. I know. You, you just want a hug. It's yes. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. I must react to claims of those who say that you are not all that. <laughs> The life journey of Sean Ray reflects passages of the journeys we must all make. Now, let's all make a difference by contributing the best we have to offer and join together to better understand and unify our changing world.